Hi everyone, welcome to microbiologynote.com and today in this video I will discuss about uh, parts of microscope and their functions. So first of all we have to learn what is microscope. Microscope is a type of laboratory optical instrument which is used to examine or study or see objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye like bacteria, fungi and in the laboratory, microscopes are used to visualize minute objects, as I say, plant cell, animal cell, bacteria, fungi, etc. Microscopes consist of different types of lens, such as achromatic lens, parafocal lens, par centered lens. Microscopes are made up of two type parts, two type of parts, the holding parts which are used to hold the microscope and the optical parts it is used for magnification and viewing the specimen image they contain two system of lens one is eyepiece and other one is objective lens there are also present different type of microscope like light microscope electron microscope etc so we will discuss about all these type of microscope in our in my upcoming video now we will talk about the general working principle of microscope. In a microscope, first the light is passed through the specimen. Here you can see in this image, here is the light source. It passes through the first specimen. Then it is transmitted to two set of lens. Here is the one set of lens. One set of lens. One lens and two lens. The objective which is the nearest to the specimen. This one. This one is objective lens which is nearest to the specimen. And the eyepiece. Ocular lens or eyepiece lens. Which is further away from the specimen. The magnified image of the specimen is first produced by the objective. So what happens when the light rays pass through the specimen. It and then it passed through the objective lens and create an image, magnified image of the, this specimen, which is known as a primary image. The eyepiece then magnify the primary image into the final one that is seen by the observer. After that, the ocular or eyepiece lens magnify this primary image and produce an highly magnified image, which is observed by the observer. The total magnification obtained by the microscope is the product of the magnification of the objective lens and that of the eyepiece. So, observers see the magnified image which is the product of objective lens and the eyepiece lens. Let's check the magnification power of different lenses. Here you can see the objective lens contain 3 magnification power 10x, 40x and 100x. Eyepiece basically contain 10x or sometimes 15x power. So the total magnification will be obtained in this portion will be 10 into 10, 100x, 40 into 10. 400x so 400x image will be sorry 400x image will be produced here the observer will be see a 400x image now come to the application of microscope there are different types of my uh, application of microscope such as uh, to study protein interaction or protein conformation to study the membrane dynamics to study the concentration of calcium ion and pH changes to determine the shape of cell and intercellular structure to determine the localization of specific proteins to study the dynamics of protein to study the iron concentration microscopes also used in forensic laboratories used in counting of blood cells now let's talk about the parts of the microscope 
the microscope parts are divided into two main categories such as the structural parts and the optical parts the structural parts of microscope provide support and connecting all the component of microscope here you can see in this image uh, this one is structural parts this one so all these parts are supporting all the optical parts and connecting them there are present three important structural parts of microscope such as head arm and base here this portion is head this portion is arm and this portion is base now come to the optical parts the optical parts of this microscope play an important role to magnify the object it consists of the following components here is the components you can see we will discuss about all this component now now come to the structural parts of a microscope as we already discussed there are three structural parts head head arm and base the head portion is located at the upper portion of the microscope here this portion the head portion of microscope is also known as a body tube this portion also known as a sorry body tube the head portion or body tube of the microscope connect the eyepiece to the objective lens this head portion connects this eyepiece this called or this portion is called eyepiece and this portion is called objective lens so head portion what basically connects these two lenses now come to the arm arms are refers to the holding portion of a microscope which is used to carry the microscope this portion actually used to carry the microscope this portion few high quality microscope contain an articulated arm with more than one joint allowing more movement of the microscope head for better viewing some microscope also contain articulated arm which contain more than one joint that allows the movement of this head portion and allow us to uh, to see the object in better quality the arm support the head and the or the body tube and connect it to the base of the microscope so what is the function of arm portion it supports the head head portion and also it connects the head to the base the bottom portion of the microscope on which the arm portion is standing it holds all the essential component this portion the base portion provides support to the microscope this is the function now i will discuss about the optical parts of microscope the first part of the microscope is eyepiece as you can see in this image this portion basically this portion is known as a eyepiece eyepiece is located at the top of the microscope here there are two eyepiece it is located at the top of the microscope the eyepiece consists of two lenses this portion basically consists of two lenses the first one near the eye here at this portion there is a lens lens and the eyepiece the last one away from the eye here this portion basically eyepiece contain two lenses one is called ocular lens ocular and eyepiece lens the first this part of microscope is also known as a ocular this portion also known as a ocular the magnifying power of an ocular lens varies from 5x to 30x but normally 10x or 15x magnifying power is used the to get to get the total magnification level multiply the magnification of objective used for example if 
eyepiece is equals to 10x and objective lens equals to 40x these are the magnification power then the total magnification will be observed observed for sorry 10 into 40 into 400x now there are present different types of IPs such as hygienian there are present three types of basically one is sorry hi geni and second type is hyperplane hyperplane and third type is called compensating Now come to the function what is the fu function of uh, what is the function of eyepiece this eyepiece person helps the viewer to see the magnified image of the specimen first second helps to magnify the image of sp specimen third it corrects the defect of the objective lens now let me erase this question Now come to the next part which is called eyepiece tube as you can see in this image this portion is called eyepiece tube here and here this portion. These microscope parts are located above the head portion as you can see in this image. In binocular this is a binocular this is a binocular microscope where two eyepieces are present microscope eyepiece tube is flexible this portion is flexible and can for maximum visualization for various distance in monocular in monocular microscope here you can see in this image this is a monocular monocular microscope because it contain one eyepiece eyepiece the eyepiece tube is non-flexible so the eyepiece tube in op, uh, binocular microscope is flexible whereas in monocular the eyepiece, pores, eyepiece tube is actually not flexible what is the par function of this eyepiece tube it connects the eyepiece and ocular lens to the objective lens so it basically connects this ocular and eyepiece lenses with the objective lens now comes to the third part which is known as a nose piece as you can see in this image this portion is known as a nose piece here this portion basically <coughs> this portion nose known as a nose piece nose piece is located below the eyepiece tube as you can see in this image it located below the eyepiece tube it also known as the revolving tart it can rotate to adjust the objective lens we can rotate this nose piece to adjust the this objective lens now what is the function of this nose piece it holds two to three objective lens as you can see in this image there are three objective lens are attached to this nose piece now come to the next part which is known as a objective lenses here in this image you can see this portion basically this portion is known as a objective lens objective lens are located below the nose piece as you can see in this image these are located below the nose piece usually you can find three to 
four objective lenses on a microscope. Commonly, there are present four type of objective lenses with different magnification power, such as four x, ten x, forty x, and hundred x. Four type of objective lens. If we use a 4x objective lens with the 10x eyepiece, then the total magnification power will be obtained. If we use 4x with 10x, then total will be obtained 4 into 10, 40x. In similar way, the total magnification power of other lenses will be 100x. 400x and 1000 1000x now there are present uh, three types of objective lens one is achromatic Second is fluoride, fluoride, and third one is apo, apochromatic. So there are present three types of objective lens. Now, what are the application or use, or or what are what are the function? Of the objective lenses there are present different type of functions like help to increase the magnification level of the specimen image together the light rays coming from an any point of the objects to unite the light at a point of the image now come to the next part of the microscope which is known as adjustment no Now come to the next part of the microscope which is known as a adjustment lobe. The adjustment lobe are located over the objective lens. Uh, basically in this binocular microscope, object, um, the adjustment lobe is located here, this portion. There are two adjustment lobes such as chorus lobes and the fine adjustment lobe. So there are present two type of knob which is known as a fine adjustment knob and chorus adjustment knob. in this image in by in this binocular microscope there are this portion basically let me erase this first this portion is known as a chorus knob and this portion is known as a fine knob so basically there are present two type of adjustment knob one is fine and another one is chorus the chorus knob is located at the right side of microscope uh, in case of monocular microscope and the fine adjustment knob is located at the left side of microscope in case of monocular. Uh, what are the application? The fast dial used. But the fast dial means the chorus knob used to bring a specimen into focus. And the second or the fine knob actually this fine knob is used to bring the specimen into focus in case of uh, oil immersion technique. Now come to the next part, stage clips. <clears throat> this portion basically, these portions are known as a stage clips. Stage clips are used to hold the specimen in a fixed position or fixed place. It is located over the stage and each microscope contain two stage clips now come to the next part aperture 
what is temperature this portion you can see here in this portion a hole present a hole is present in this portion and this portion is called aperture it is a hole in stage which is located below the objective lens it is located below the objective lens through aperture the base light reaches the stage through this hole basically allow the light to pass here the light comes through this hole let me just this now come to the next part which is called microscopic illuminator microscopic illuminator located at the base it basically a light source which is used to provide light to the microscope now next come to the next part which is called condenser lens condenser may be defined as series of lens for illuminating with transmitted light an object to be studied on the stage of the microscope Additionally, you will need a microscope with an Abbey condenser to get the best clarity at high level of magnification setting. Condenser is located under the stage next to the diaphragm. This portion is this portion is called condenser lens. Sorry, not this portion. This portion is called microscopic illuminator. And this portion this portion is called condenser lens now come to the next part which is called diaphragm it is located above the condenser and below the stage basically in this portion <coughs> diaphragm also known as a iris diaphragm is used to vary the intensity and size of the cone of light that is projected upward to the slide it actually used to increase or decrease the intensity of light and come to the next part the rack stop this portion is called rack stop it equals to actually it regulates the distance between the stages this prevent the objective lens from being too close to the specimen slide which could cause damage to the slide it prevents the specimen slide height from hitting the object lens that's it for today thank you and the study note of this lecture is provided in description check the link